Hello to all those watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself. I am a high-functioning high autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I want to be the successor of the late Stan Lee in terms of making my own creations in my Leviathan universe. This storyline is about a character that I will introduce into this podcast known as Gymoscoricus. And if you guys bear with me and just try to uh, keep up as I read along this, and it's also a first-person perspective. So here is Jamis Gorkas, number one, the beginning, created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 17, 2015. Hello, readers. I am Queen Susanna Diana Amazonicus. I have bright blue eyes, long platinum white hair, and possess four muscular arms. My minimum height is 10 feet. I wield a variety of weapons, and I dress in either a royal queen's clothes or a variety of skivvies. To begin this, I'll tell you the origin of my kind. A few thousand years before you humans have ever existed, Goddess had decided to create a special island within the center of the Pacific Ocean. On the island, she constructed an Amazonian race of ten-foot-tall, four-armed female warriors, which she since named the Gynarmicans. After creating them, Alexa taught them how to speak both English and their native tongue, known as the Gynarmican tongue. She also taught them how to farm potatoes and coffee beans, along with how to hunt and fight those who are prone to attacking and harming them. There are two official kinds of giant armicans, warriors and designers. Each job is chosen depending on the individual's muscle development. If she ends up getting large and solid muscles, then she'll be chosen to fight in the giant armican armies. If she doesn't have much muscle development, she wouldn't necessarily fight in the battles, but rather be chosen to design weapons for the warriors to use. However, we still have some enemies. A few miles southeast of Gynarmica is the island of Callistica, home of the genocidal Callisticans, with their current ruler, Queen Gapelixak. And our official war with them comes in this next story I shall be telling you. Two days before my sixth birthday, my mother at the time was making a speech that will announce the celebration of my birthday. Unfortunately, Queen Gapelixak had used a plasma ray gun and assassinated my mother. For the final minutes of her life, she told her greatest friend, Commander at Tafora Kael'thun, otherwise known as Hirikashix, meaning bloody warrior, that she must protect and honor me for as long as she lives. She also told me that I shall become a far greater ruler of Gynarmica in comparison to her. As soon as she died, Gaius appeared and infused me with and Tephora with the power to expand to great sizes. By adulthood, I was urging to mark the Callisticans to extinction in order to honor the soul of my mother. Eventually, I traveled east until I discovered your own kind, and from that point, I decided to protect not only my own kind, but mankind as well. From that point on, I was since known by many as Gymoscorcus, which simply translates to Mighty man saver. And although I may not may or may not win every fight in the future, none of them will ever make me lose my persistence. The end. I hope you guys in enjoyed this introduction to this character, and hopefully you guys were able to catch up with me reading it and such. And if you want, you guys could uh like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And uh, I'll be planning to make some more stuff in the long run. And uh, until next time, I'm Leviathan. Enjoy your time and such. And transmission.